help me make precise this idea. If there were 17 sets now that covered this whole thing, what's the bound? And what's the center of the ball that you're going to use? Well, how about any point? How about x1? You know, this is x1 through x17. How about x1? How far apart will the other points be from one of the centers if there were 17 balls? Well, at, at most 17, or if you like, if, if you just want to say it another way, it's, it's pretty easier. An easier way might be, would you agree the set of all pairwise distances is finite? Willie? Excellent question. Yeah, so what if the set is disconnected and you had 17 balls? So this is still part of K as well. So that's one of, that's one of the, the problems with uh, this, this crude picture uh, is that if there were 17, you might not have any relationship between these two, right? And so that's why I'm going to recommend another, another strategy. Because if you tried to write this proof down, you would fail, right? Because, because of exactly this issue. So another way to do this uh, is to look at all possible pairwise distances. How many such distances are there? Finitely many. Therefore, I can take the maximum. That number is achieved because it's a finite set. That maximum is a maximum distance between centers. So then how much farther can any other two points be? Two more, you know, if you happen to be right at the very edge. You know, here's one center, here's another center. This, the, the points that are farthest from these balls is this distance plus two. Yes? And that, uh, would you agree, Willie, solves the uh, disconnected picture? Uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful objection. And uh, we, uh, we, We've taken care of that. So here's what we're going to do. Let's uh, uh, let uh, big R be the maximum of the pairwise distances dxi, dxj, uh, where xi are i and j are between 1 and n. And now you should tell the reader that this um, maximum exists. Because what? Because what? Set is finite. Uh, the set uh, x1 through xn is finite. OK? Happy with that? OK, so then, uh, then uh, here's the ball. I, we claim n1, sorry, n some big ball around x1 of radius, how about big R plus 2? That would do, wouldn't it? Contains uh, all of K. Now, there's something to show here, uh, but I'm not going to do it, but you can see what to do, right? If you want to show this contains all K, you would use what? What's, what, what, what property of metrics is going to become really important in here? Triangle inequality, because you're just bootstrapping from one point to, you know, every point is in some ball, xj. Distance from x1 to xj is bounded by r, and the other distance will be bounded by 2. Actually, in this proof, I didn't even need xi, xj, did I? I could have replaced this by what? x1, xj, and take that maximum. Okay. All right. Everybody happy? What, what have we just done? We've defined compactness in a very curious way. We uh, have uh, shown that compact sets are somewhat like finite sets. Finite sets are, in fact, compact. Compact sets behave in the same way finite sets do, namely that they're bounded. Okay? And so um, I want to take a, a couple minute break. And after the break, I want to um, show you that the, the concept of compactness is an intrinsic notion of the set. And it doesn't matter what metric space you're in. Okay? So let's take a couple minute break.